Welcome back to Cosmo Alex Anonymous. I am your favorite new mama bougie vintage and today's video is a story time. Welcome, welcome. If you are in the premiere, hey girl, how you doing? I'm probably in there too, so I'm saying hi to my damn self. <laughs> I actually already recorded this story, but I hated my makeup, so I was just like, let me re-record it because I was like, I'm about to be looking shugly. Like, I'm not going to be looking sh ugly on camera. Like, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> this is about my baby shower from last year. So when I initially got pregnant, I had no intention on having a baby shower because I just felt like, one, I would have to travel to Toronto, which is four and a half hours away from where I live. And that's where everybody is. I felt like if I was gonna have a baby shower, I would make it easier for everybody by me going there rather than a whole bunch of people having to come this way. One of the reasons why was I didn't want to travel, especially being that you have your baby shower like maybe a month or two before you're actually due so I knew I'd be really pregnant at the time. Another reason is I felt like I would end up spending way more money than I should be because realistically when you're having a baby shower people are supposed to plan it for you. You're not supposed to lift a finger. You're not supposed to open your wallet. You're not supposed to do anything. That's just a heads up <laughs> unless you're throwing it yourself you know. You're not really supposed to do much. Being that I had four sisters and a mom and everything like that I just was like not into paying for my own baby shower because that's fucking whack, period, okay? <laughs> that was another reason. I just felt like I would end up being swindled into paying for shit. And that money that I would be spending on my baby shower could have easily been put towards my child and buying whatever it is I'd be getting at this baby shower for my child. That was another reason I didn't want to have one. The other reason is that I'm totally socially awkward and <laughs> I just... I don't know, I just didn't really feel a baby shower was necessary. I think I was very vocal about not wanting to have one, but literally as soon as I announced to family members that I was pregnant, somebody had stated that they were having dibs on my baby shower. And I was like, I don't want to have one. And they were like, you don't want to have a baby shower, it's your first baby, blah blah blah. And I was just like, I know, but I don't want to really want to have it. She's like, well, think about it, and if you do end up wanting one, then I, I call dibs, okay? You at home, please tell me what dibs means. Does that not mean you are taking full ownership of? <laughs> like, you are claiming it, okay? You are putting it into the atmosphere that you are going to be taking over and planning out and doing everything for this baby shower whatever time's going by and I decided that I still did not want one and so I'm on the phone with this person we'll call her Julia I'm on the phone with Julia <laughs> and um, Julia is literally being so persistent and trying to convince me to have one so I'm like alright I'll sleep on it whatever and so she's like okay so I sleep on it and Shooter really wanted to have one and so I was just like alright whatever Shooter wants to have one we can have one. I don't care. So I call her. I let Julia know, all right, you got this. <laughs> we want to have one, you know, make it happen. So she tells me to go and find a theme or whatever and bring it to her. So I did. I went on Pinterest and I found the simplest little thing. Yeah, if I can find the picture to show you guys, I will. But it was just one little table. okay it was one table it had four like giant boxes at the bottom like literally like boxes wrapped in wrapping paper and on the wrapping paper it had the letters B A B Y giant and it just said baby and the theme was pink and gold and because I was having Salem I was like pink and gold is perfect I love pink I love gold it's a match made in heaven pink and gold it is and it was just a little table and a little cute chair that I would sit in to open my gifts that was it that's all I wanted it was really simple like it was more than simple I send that to her she basically says okay she's gonna get right on it mind you this is like maybe two months ahead of schedule this is two months before the actual baby shower maybe a month I don't even know which is another reason I kept it really simple because of the time frame I didn't want to give her too much work to do we were working with a short amount of time because I was so against it in the beginning so once we got to crunch time I was like okay we just gonna keep it simple keep it cute keep it pink keep it gold and keep it the fuck pushing initially I was only going to be providing liquor for my guest because obviously it's an adult party I know my people that I was inviting I figured 
you know, open bar hiccups open bar let's get it poppin i know everybody likes to drink okay so i was about to have that place flooded with liquor i don't know who brought up the idea of food and i was like i ain't feeding these people they can eat before they fucking come like it's it's not early in the day it's midday you know it's uh i think it was around two or something two or three so y'all could eat before you get to my baby shower but i was told that that's ratchet and ghetto <laughs> and that i have to have food there especially because i'm having liquor there i can't just have people drinking on empty stomachs i said that is not my problem i didn't want a baby shower because i didn't want to spend the money and i, I can promise liquor but now y'all got me over here promising food too like it's it's already get you know I wasn't trying to do all this, but okay, fine. I'll, I'll get food for my guests because I'm not a ratchet ghetto bitch. <laughs> so I was like, all right, we can get food, okay? Because I was just being a little, you know, I just, uh, whatever. So lucky for me, my uncle owns a restaurant, Caribbean food. So I decided that I would go through my uncle because obviously I'm not going to have to pay thousands of dollars for catering when my uncle has a restaurant. Everybody loves Jamaican food, so it was a, it was a, the only decision that needed it was the only option you know so I messaged my uncle I let him know what exactly what I'm gonna need he tells me it's gonna be like 400 bucks and I was like okay whatever perfect this is what I need these are the amount of guests I have so send this food that's exactly what we did so already I had I had liquor and food off the list two things that were not cheap that I had already put money into. So let's say I roughly spent about $700 on everything. Okay, $700 on liquor and food alone. And so I started to think about baby showers and what people do at baby showers and the games and stuff. And I decided that I was gonna do something called the gift game. So basically how the gift game works is you have gift bags for everybody all of the guests and you put everybody's name in a hat or a or a, just something to pick a name out of you put everybody's name in there about three times and so you reach in you pick out a name and if your name gets picked you get to look around the room and choose to trade your gift with somebody else's gift or take sorry you get to take somebody's gift from them when i realized how many guests i was having i realized the gift game was not realistic because my guest list was so big that the gift game would not have worked out because if we would have been playing for hours like it would have just been too much so i decided instead of the gift game we would just do raffles all night and get rid of the prizes so i had wrapped up some sex toys to give away because it's an adult party <laughs> so i wrapped up some sex toys to give away i sent julia the picture of the gifts wrapped up and stuff because i am miss rapper okay rap very well <laughs> i wrap my gifts bomb i sent her a picture and she sent me back and she's like mm, i was thinking more like this and so she didn't want to initially tell me the theme of my shower because she changed it which i did not ask for but she ended up having to tell me because she wanted me to do some arts and crafts bullshit um julia sent me back a picture of the unicorn bags that you guys saw me making on my channel last year she was like i was thinking more like this and so i was like oh that's cute and so she ends up telling me the theme is unicorn but like i'm not six years old <laughs> i mean unicorns is cool and all but i'm not six years old i really just wanted pink and gold and so the theme got changed to pink to the theme got changed to unicorn and i just went with the flow because she was supposed to be planning this shower so she sends me this uh, bag and tells me she wants me to make those. Keep in mind, I'm like fucking seven and a half, eight months pregnant. And so I did that first bag on my channel and that bag took me like two hours to do. And if it weren't for my mom living, was she living here at the time? If it weren't for my mom living in Ottawa or like even just being around, <laughs> I would not have been able to do all the unicorn bags. But basically I went out to Michael's. I had purchased all the supplies to make the unicorn bags and I sat there with my back aching and everything making these unicorn bags and, and destroying my house with glitter and all kinds okay and so me and my mom made these unicorn bags the thing about the unicorn bags was I was frustrated because I was just like I'm a one-man show out here okay 
there's nobody to really me and my mom are two people I'm pregnant I shouldn't be having any hands in this baby shower other than showing up and look cute and yet here I am bend it over broken my back to make these unicorn bags spending money on the supplies to make the unicorn bags and Michaels is not cheap okay the person that was organizing or pretending to organize the shower <laughs> The person that was doing that, she had so many hands and helpers because she has kids and stuff. So she had so many hands and helpers that could have been doing the unicorn bags because they're all into arts and crafts. But she had me over here doing it. And I was just like, is this for real life? But once again, I kept quiet. I didn't complain about it. I just did it and called it mother effing love, period. Around the same time I started working on the unicorn bags, she ends up sending me a list, a list of things that needed to be paid for <laughs> I was like <laughs> wait so she sends me this list of things and I'm like come again so there's 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 so much stuff on there cake and accessories and all kinds of stuff like the backdrop and blah 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 okay she sends me a list of all this stuff and I'm just like $200 cake the fuck <laughs> $200 cake? I've already spent $700 on liquor and fucking food. I just spent damn near $100 at Michael's for freaking unicorn bags. Unnecessary unicorn bags. Like, plus the, the labor and the hard work that went into making the bags. And now you're sending me a list of things that need to be paid for. I thought you had dibs on the shower. Where, security! <laughs> Please escort this woman out my text because what the fuck is she talking about? As soon as she said that, my blood pressure went through the roof chat. I said, what, bitch, cancel it. I said, cancel it. Throw, throw away the whole party, okay? We don't need it. I said, no. I said, okay, you know what? We don't need the cake. So X that off the list. And I'm telling her what to take off the list and what to keep on the list. And so one of the things that were on the list were these props for my photo so if you saw some pictures from my shower we were holding up little props that said like baby Salem mama unicorn baby unicorn with unicorn like instead of with child so the props I thought were really cute and we needed them for our photo booth so those had to stay but like other stuff that was on the list needed to go and so she was trying to basically convince me that I'm saving a whole bunch of money with other things and I was just like no like one, I didn't want to have a shower. Now you're coming to me telling me I have to spend $200 on a cake. A cake? Bitch, I, I got... Box cake is $1.99, bitch. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. Box cake is $1.99. I'm not spending $200 on no fucking cake. Period. For a shower I did not want to have. One. Two, you told me you have dibs on the shower, so why are you messaging me and telling me these things have to be paid for like what why aren't you paying for the props why aren't you doing this why aren't you doing that you tried to convince me to have a shower for what so that you could spend my money i'm confused i was so irritated you guys i was like what is going on here and so i'm telling my mom what's going on she's like this is ridiculous <laughs> and i'm like i know like i said i got rid of some of the stuff on the list and kept some of the stuff but at that point i had actually gone and made like an update for you guys on on YouTube or whatever just about my pregnancy in general I think and I was mentioning my baby shower and how I'm stressed out about it somebody that actually makes cakes that watches my videos she actually and she was actually invited to the shower she actually saw the video and she was like oh hell no this girl said she ain't gonna have a cake bitch bye see you never and she ended up making the cake for me and uh, it was basically her gift to the shower so she was I think she was who was making the cake initially to begin with but once she heard me say that I decided I'm not gonna have one she basically gifted that to me instead of gifting me like a onesie set <laughs> so it was really awesome but the gag is a bitch did not know a bitch was not told that the cake was gifted to me and I'll get into that after I didn't find out till after the damn shower that the cake was a gift and who it came from whatever let's get back into these text messages I'm gonna say it's like maybe three weeks till it's go time to my shower the communication between myself and Julia is really subpar like it's not the greatest the space original space I had wanted to use was Julia's best friend's house because it's a fucking it's gorgeous <laughs> and it is um 
perfect for hosting parties and so I want to use Julia's friend's house instead of Julia asking her friend because it's her friend if we could use the space for this baby shower that she claimed to have dibs on I was told to ask the best friend myself and I was just like it's your best friend like why can't you ask your best friend you, you claim you love me and all this stuff why can't you just ask her if we can use her space or not like I was obviously willing to pay if I had to like give her an incentive because I'm using her house but it, the effort was not even made and so that was in the very beginning this is before we even started really planning when I wasn't really getting communication with that subject I was like okay well my only other option is to have it at my mom's friend's house and my mom's friend his space was a lot smaller than Julia's best friend's house and so I was telling Julia to go and look at the space and see you know how we're gonna organize things and see where, what's gonna go where and stuff and this is the very fucking beginning you guys like the jump okay first she was she said okay she'll go but then she never went and then she tried to act like she didn't need to go because she's been there before and she's seen it already and blah 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 but that was beyond the point you still need to go and look at the space because you don't know if he's changed things the fuck when's the last time you were there it wasn't yesterday so you have to go and see but she was too busy so um she decided that I guess she didn't really need to go until the very last damn minutes hi pumpkin Hi! What is that? An expired oh, lemon? Lemons. Where the hell was that? I don't know where she found it by your stuff. Say hi, hi Pigtail girl. She wouldn't let me finish it. It's not even straight. Hmm. Say bye bye, mommy. Why you look like you you're done? coming to destroy? Uh, no. I'm speaking a lot from memory, so I'm just gonna go through my text messages. So she sent me this photo from Pinterest. Okay. And. She's like, you see the marshmallows in the jars in the back? We need marshmallows. I was like, marshmallows? What the hell do we need marshmallows for? We don't need no damn marshmallows. Marshmallows are not going to be at my baby shower. Ain't nobody going to eat no damn marshmallows. Okay, this is not a campfire. We are not making s'mores. Goodbye. Okay, marshmallows are nasty. Candy marshmallows, they're gross. Like, no. Marshmallows are for, are for Rice Krispie Squares and that's it. This is all before the unicorn bag thing. So I'm starting from before the unicorn bags. She sends me the unicorn bag photo. And I was like, where can I get that? Michaels? And she was like, use felt and cut out lashes. You, I have lots of these little flowers if you want to add. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> so then she sends three of those party emojis, like the streamers. And I was like, time is of the essence. This is on November 4th, okay? So this is 14 days before my shower, two weeks. I was like, I was just going to slap some gold bows on them because I had like, like present bows and she was just like, it's going to be so amazing. It'll take you one day at the most. Lots of time. Nope. More creative, more custom. One day? Do you know how long it took me to make those bags? One day? One day? One day? I was, I, I was so mad <laughs> when I went back and I read these text messages. I'm like, one day I was working on those unicorn bags for days and hours okay I finished the last one maybe a couple days before my shower mind you we had to travel with the bags in the car who had time and space okay I was like LMAO who told you I even have one day ma'am like legit <laughs> Uh, and then I was watching a tutorial on how to make it. She's like, you are the best. So I sent her like the straight face and I said, I'm only making 10. She's like, send photo. I was like, I will. Conversation went elsewhere. Mind you, there's two people in this conversation. One that had none to do with the damn chat. I mean, one that had none to do with the shower and the other one that did. So Julia was like, can we all please brainstorm? What do we want these to say? So she sent me a picture of the props, which is this. She's like, bougie, I need you to get someone to host your shower, please. What? I thought you were planning. Like, why am I doing anything? Conduct the games and create order. Let them know about the photo booth and just deliver instructions, including the gift game. And I have a few more games in mind. This was before I nixed the gift game, obviously. So 
I had told her when I was ready to get rid of the gift game I told her you cannot do the gift game there's way too many guests that have confirmed so basically um, instead of gift game we're supposed to do raffles but we'll get into that after so then I told her my sister will do it she's good at that she's like perfect please send her phone number I will chat with her in the week when it came time to chat with my sister, my sister was trying to contact her. She could not reach her. She was not calling. She basically didn't have anything to tell her or say to her to give her instruction. Like, anyway, conversation drifted, went to something else. And then she sent pictures of, like, little donuts and cookies that are, like, unicorn themed. So that. And that. So I sent her a picture of my swollen ass feet. They're dry, so I ain't gonna put it up too close. <laughs> and I, I showed her that I went to Michael's, I bought all this stuff, and I'm working on the unicorn bags. So that was me working on the bags. And she messaged me back, she's like, OMG, I'm so proud of you, yeah. I was like, um, one bag is like two hours. And then she's like, now tell me that's not more creative than that issue showed me earlier, lol. I was like, baby showers are supposed to be stress-free, because they are. And then she's like, that's therapeutic, honey, no stress. Bitch, how you gonna tell me what's stress and what's not stress? I'm telling you I'm stressed, okay? My back is hurting, my feet are swollen, I'm sitting here on this hard-ass floor to make these ugly-ass bags. Well, they weren't ugly, but they, you know. And you're at home doing what? Standing around with your dick in your hands? I was so irritated. Oh, and keep in mind, and I didn't find this out until after, she claimed that she was doing this out of the goodness of her heart and all this stuff and that it was for me. But homegirl had her business, because she has her own business, she had her business on my baby shower invites. Why? Why is your business attached to my baby shower invites? One had nothing to do with the other. This was supposed to be about my baby shower. And so it was, when I found that out, I was like, okay, this was literally just for clout. Like, it was literally just to have her name attached to it to claim that she did it and potentially if I had pregnant friends she could get them to agree to get her to, for her to do their baby showers but her business is not baby showers her business is not in the party planning it literally has something to do with nothing regarding baby showers but she had her literal business watermark or whatever the fuck it was and and contact attached to my baby shower invites okay where they do that at and I said, uh, no, it's not. I'm in pain. She's like, uh, ignore it. She didn't even acknowledge the fact that I said I'm in pain. She's like, on the boxes, you already wrapped. Add lashes to them and a few flowers and a horn. Variety. I love it. <laughs> Peach <-a> weights. <laughs> She's like, okay, bougie. She did not acknowledge that the pregnant girl said she was in pain. Like, I was not being dramatic. I was legit in pain. My vagina was falling out at this point. So she messages me, and she's like, okay, bougie. So far, cake, 200. Props, games, and backdrop design, 150. We will still have to print the backdrop, which means more money. Props alone are 60. Maybe if it's not too much to ask my, sis my other sister to make my backdrop and backdrop and print it as a gift to me but my other sister lived in damn Alberta okay <laughs> not only that she has a job she has things to do like I'm not messaging my sister for not a damn thing she's like I'm handling decor still need total for food and desserts for cake pop she's like if you don't want to bug your sister let me just get this girl started on the work and then I told her my sister's in Alberta it doesn't make sense she's like right okay cool I said screw the cake and then she's like, I'm going to give this girl the go ahead. And then she's like, no cake. We can do lots of treats and cupcakes. I was like, no cake. This shower is costing too fucking much. These are my exact words. She's like, MP, they always do. Oh, is that so? Because last time I checked, people throw showers for people. People don't pay for their own showers. Okay? Like, it's just like father of the bride is supposed to pay for the wedding. This is tradition, bitch. I mean, my daddy did not pay for my wedding. <laughs> But that is neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, if you are pregnant right now and somebody says to you they have dibs on your shower, trust and believe. If they ask you for money, your answer should be, fuck no. The thing is, I'm being looked at as, oh, she's on YouTube. Oh, she got a check. Oh, she got this. She got that. She can afford to pay for her own shower. That was beyond the fucking point. If I stated from jump I didn't want to have a shower and you stated that you got dibs, not being clear and saying that I have dibs, I'm going to plan it, but I ain't going to pay for it because 
The last time I checked, every other shower I've been to, all my other friends that have had showers did not come up out of pocket for their fucking showers. So, I mean, anyway. I'm like, I'm over it already. This is why I did not want one to begin with. She's like, don't be, babe. No stress. I'm getting the most of the stuff. I was like, telling her how much food is going to cost. Um, and then I told her that I only wanted the Rice Krispies from uh, the cake girl. So then she was like, telling me that candy and decor would have easily have costed over $600. Now, the reason she's saying that is because she already has the stuff. She's, it's laying there and she has it. It's free. It didn't cost her a red cent to bring that stuff to the house, okay? So why does Salem leave her lemon in here? I can't. <laughs> so that's why she's telling me it would have easily have costed $600 if she didn't already have it. And I was like... Candy? $600 on candy? Who the fuck do you think you're feeding? <laughs> like, who the fuck do you think you're feeding? And it would not have cost $600 because the decorations that we had, the little backdrop that you guys might have or might not have seen, those little cardboard things cost about $1.99 each at Michael's and it would not have been no damn $600, okay? Anyway, especially because Michael's always got the coupons, but they were not paid for for my specific shower. Therefore, I don't know why she was saying that it would have costed $600 plus. Like, no. You had that shit for free, so no. Plus, it was not the design that I sent you. I sent you a plain ass table with a plain ass little boxes at the bottom and a plain ass chair. So no, it would not have cost me $600 because this was not you sticking to the script. This was you having your own ulterior motives and doing what you wanted to do. Anyway, I was like, liquor I still have to get. And then she was like, think about how much you saved. You can put towards other stuff. Don't stress. I was like, no, I still have to do my nursery. And then she's like, all the gifts you will get is also money saved. I think I should ask everyone to bring the book and a pack of diapers. And I was like, okay. But just people confirmed doesn't mean they're showing. Just because people um, confirmed doesn't mean they're showing up. I don't want it to be a waste of time or money because I went to a shower chat. Okay. Money was spent. <laughs> and, uh... People confirmed and barely anybody showed up. Like, it was really bad. Anyways, I was like, not to mention the traveling from here to there. Like, gas is not was not cheap at the time. Gas is mad cheap now, child. I'll be filling up my tank. <laughs> anyway, I was like, it's just a lot. Keep in mind, I'm pregnant. So I'm a little bit more emotional than I should be. But it, it, that was neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, I was not trying to come up out of pocket. Period. Anyway, she was like, don't worry. This is for Salem. It could never be a waste of time. I was like, I'm annoyed. I didn't want to shower for this exact reason. And now every time I have to purchase something else or add something to the list is a pain in the ass. The DJ is another 250 I forgot about him, yeah. Um, the maternity photos is almost 400 So basically, earlier in the conversation, she was asking me. Actually, I think it might have been on the phone. She had told me or asked me if me and Shooter can go and take some maternity photos so that we can have a big picture at the front of the house as soon as you walk in. And I was like, what? Mind you, maternity, sh like booking a maternity shoot is a lot, like these photographers are booked, Chad. Okay, so getting to me to even get squeezed in somewhere, excuse me, out here was difficult. And so I didn't even end up taking the maternity photos, but I'm like, really? I'm gonna go take these photos just for the baby shower? because it wasn't gonna be like I wasn't prepared to take the maternity photos for like my maternity shoot you know I didn't even really have a maternity shoot with Salem and so I wasn't really prepared to do that and so she had said that we need to go and take these photos and I'm like that's expensive honey $400 for some damn pictures plus I would have to get them rushed because there was only two weeks till my shower and she wanted me to take pictures last minute like the fuck did she think this was like it takes time to get your photos back from a photographer if she didn't know anyway she's like we can leave stuff off but you don't need to stress i was like all we can leave off is the cake at this point no one eats it anyway that was a lie child the cake that was there apparently it was so freaking good 
that everybody took pieces home and to this day people to this day <laughs> to this day <laughs> people <laughs> are people message me about the cake for my baby shower because it was so good but the gag is I didn't even get a piece I didn't have a piece because I was so mad the day of my shower and I thought that they had actually got the cake for me I was like oh wow you actually spent money wow that's nice but then I found out that wasn't the case at all and nobody told me that the cake was a gift so yeah I never got a piece of cake apparently it was fucking maze balls anyway she was like cool done can I get some cool sayings for our props please so I tell her what pro what uh, which ones I wanted so it's November 5th now our conversation ended for the fourth and I asked her if the backdrop can just be plain plain baby pink because I had a pain a plain baby pink backdrop I could bring with me but she did not respond to that text okay so then November 6 happens the message is just me it's one-sided challenge nobody responded to me I sent a text stating that one of my subscribers uh, who has their own like bakery and her Instagram is sweetgasm cake artistry okay um she messaged me and she told me she can mail cookies and cake pops um, to the shower and I was like that is so freaking nice and so I forwarded that message to Julia and Julia's always loving free shit <laughs> so Julia got right on that she messaged um, Jay and I guess they organize everything it's like amazing I'm gonna link her just finishing work was thinking your glitter pink backdrops can we use those for the photo shoot so I was telling her that my glitter backdrops are not long enough so I don't think they'll work because uh, I usually buy a meter or a meter and a half of fabric so I knew it wouldn't go from ceiling to floor which is what we needed to cover but my plain backdrops because they're cheaper it covers more space she's like okay NP Wow, wow, bougie. God is a good God. <laughs> this lady, I can't even say less. I should be, you know, let me not. I can't. And she's like, her work is amazing. I was like, amazeball. She's like, in freaking love. I'm like, yeah, anyway. So, okay, we didn't have much other conversation other than talking about Jay on um, that. So, on the 7th, I message her and I sent her a screenshot because I got a message from somebody stating that their mom is friends with julia she and saying that julia heard that she watches my videos it julia had the nerve to invite this person to the shower <laughs> like what how are you inviting somebody to my shower i'm very confused the shower that you're not putting a fucking red scent into like what she was basically messaging me to make sure she's not stepping on anybody's toes or whatever and blah 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 blah. so I screenshot it I didn't even open it I just screenshot it I sent it I said who is this it uninvite their mom and them please because she was telling me that her and her mom are gonna be coming to my shower and I'm like bitch no you're not <laughs> like what are you talking about Julia messages me back and she sends me three straight faces like what and I'm like absolutely not she's like lol she was never coming I was like these mother effers are crazy I will cancel the shower like what in the Rosclot and so um she's like omg I told her mom because she was inviting me somewhere and I told her I'm doing your shower on the same day she had me on speaker and her daughter was in the car tripping out she was never coming don't worry funny though if I know Julia she damn well did invite okay somebody's not just gonna message me assuming they got invited to my shower like or saying that she invited her to be her guest that's very specific you know so I knew she was lying to me but I was just like whatever I told her the bitch ain't coming and she's gonna have to uninvite her that's your business not mine so at this point in the text messages she's talking about how it's not her shower basically saying like she's not inviting anybody because it's not her shower she's just doing decor I didn't even register that at that time I'm registering it right the fuck now you said you had dibs you didn't say you will handle decor because if that was what you originally said I would have been like okay so who gonna handle everything else because it ain't gonna be me but her words exactly and there was people there to you know attest to this was I have dibs <laughs> I have dibs on your shower that doesn't mean you have dibs on just decor that means you have dibs on the shower you're going to plan and create and pay for the shower 
because that's how close we were. So still on November 7th, conversation is going on, we're talking about other stuff, and then I said, oh, what other gifts are we putting in the bags? We need a conference call tomorrow because at this point I had told her no more gift games. So I needed to know what was going in the bags because at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to be embarrassed at my own shower <laughs> because there's some shitty gifts in there. Like, no, it needed to be something nice. Even if it was just candy, like, so an incentive to take home. Like, my, my best friend's baby shower, she gave out bubble gum, bubble gum and popcorn like something cute like that like you know what I mean something just to just go home with because I was already providing liquor and food like they was lucky they was even getting swag bags to begin with <laughs> she did not answer me about what the gifts were gonna be fast forward to November 9th this is nine days before my shower we're not talking about the shower at that point Julia messages me a message from cake gasm or is it cake gasm she messages me a message from Jay I had originally said I would pay her to ship it because I was just like, she's making free snacks for us. Like, I'm not going to make her pay, make those snacks because she's obviously paying for it out of her own pocket. And on top of that, ship it? No, because it just no. So I was like, okay, we could pay for shipping. So shipping was $50, so I, I, I sent it to her on PayPal. And then on that same night, I asked, when does the person doing the photo props need to be paid? <sighs> no answer. No fucking answer. There was no answer to that. Communication, non-existent. November 10th. Eight days before my shower. We're not talking about anything shower related. She had asked me for Shooter's mom's email because we were going to get Shooter's mom to, I think, uh, to bring like Chase, like mixing stuff for the drinks because I just bought liquor. I didn't buy soda. <laughs> Fast forward to November 11th, this is seven days, a whole one week until my shower. She sends out an email. This is what the email reads. All right, dolls, Julia again. So we basically have one week left until the bougiest baby shower. Yay! I want to thank everyone for RSVPing. It's such an amazing time for Bougie and Shooter and nothing better than to be sharing this moment with the ones they love. And that means all of you. So I had this brilliant idea. Well, it really wasn't mine. You're fucking right it wasn't hers, okay? Hmm. But I'm gonna take credit anyhow. Girl, the idea came from my friend whose uh, brother was having a baby shower as well, okay? And I relayed the information to Julia, and here she is taking credit as usual anyway lol i'm requesting that everyone get baby salem a children's book instead of a card or along with and write a message to baby salem cute right yes i know it's an absolute great keepsake to treasure forever and if you're feeling really generous bring a pack of diapers and be entered into a draw to win a super nintendo entertainment system with 21 games loaded yes honey we were feeling generous too first of all First of all, I was the one that was giving away the Nintendo, not no fucking Wii. I purchased two Nintendos, one for myself, and I was originally going to give it away on my channel. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't do it. <laughs> but I had it, and so I decided, I'm like, oh, I should give this away my baby shower, but we'll do a raffle. So that was one of the big prizes for the night, the Nintendo. It's like, see you all next week, and message me if you have any questions. The diaper raffle was one of my favorite things because literally, I still have diapers from my shower. <laughs> I have diapers for the new baby <laughs> and I have I, I traded I went to Walmart and traded in diapers um, that were too small and I got size 5 for Salem so like the diaper raffle if you're having a baby shower girl do a diaper raffle because bitch you get a lot of diapers honestly diapers and wipes are like the main thing that you should want at your shower fuck bathtubs and like all the other stuff that you get at home Diapers are so necessary, especially in that first beginning stage because you go through diapers like this. Like I was going through packs of diapers so often in the first um, stage of bringing baby home. Anyway, moving on and we're going to get back into the Nintendo because it was some fucking issues, okay? So moving on, we're talking about stuff shower related but nothing really important for the video. And I said I was leaving my phone upstairs to charge so if you need me call me because it would ring and I would hear it. November 11th, six days before my shower. I ended up on the M&M website because 
I wanted to get customized M&Ms. I didn't know you could do that. So I was on the M&M website and I was trying to order these custom M&Ms. But because of the time frame, I was afraid they wouldn't make it in time because that was basically what I was going to give away as my incentive for th saying thank you for coming. These cute little M&Ms, but I didn't get to. So then um, I let the other person in the chat know that I'm getting my hair done at my cousin's house on Friday morning and I, t I told her to come with me. But once again, nobody responded to me. So, in the morning on November 12th, I messaged and I asked if they can get, like, um, the film for my Polaroid, but nobody responded. For 13th, I messaged, nobody responds. At this point in the conversation, there's a three-way call going on, and Julia is on the phone with the girl that is supposed to be making the graphics. It is November 13th. When is my shower? November 18th. The graphics were supposed to be done way back up in the chat when I had sent you, when I had showed you guys the photos. Okay, that's when the props were supposed to be done, or that's when they were supposed to be being worked on. But it was now November 13th. We're on a three-way call. The other girl does not know that I'm on the phone. And she's saying how much things are going to cost. Originally, Julia had said $60, I believe. And so I messaged her and I was like, no, hell fucking no. <laughs> we were talking about how much it's going to cost and also about when it's going to be shipped and when we would get it. And so it was coming too close to the actual day of the shower and I didn't want any more hiccups than there already was. So then I was like, we'll pay. And I said that she can ship them. And then Julia's like, it'll be $100. I was like, it's fine. And I asked for PayPal. She's like, plus 60 and 50 to make. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Tell her to ship them. We don't need any more work because they were discussing on the phone getting it put on a hard drive and bringing it to Staples and printing it at Staples and laminating at Staples and doing all fucking kinds and I was like listen we already have our plates full like can't no more food fit on this plate baby so we need to not take on any extra work I will pay the shipping it's from PayPal it's not coming out of my bank account so I don't care I'll pay it from PayPal and she can ship it and we'll get it in time because it's going to be express shipping for $100. It better get here the next damn business day, okay? <laughs> Bitch, even if it's a damn Saturday or Sunday, it better get here on time. So then she was like, are you sure? I'm like, yep. And then I had also organized for Julia to finally go over to see the, the space, which she should have done from the very beginning, but she decided she didn't need to. I had organized for her to go over there at 5 p.m. and she agreed and she said she will set an alarm. Okay, I was like, I'll set an alarm too. And I was asking her if she already got plates for the food and cups for the drink. Um, and I asked her, or do I need to get that? And she's like, no, I have. It's November 14th, it's four days before my shower. Morning Bougie, did you speak to Cake Pop? She sends me an invoice of $100.83, $102.83, sorry. And um, I said, no, I'm going to message her now. She was invited, right? And then um, Julia said, yeah, invited. I look at the invoice and I realize there's stuff on there that I did not want because I only wanted Rice Krispies. <laughs> but there was cake pops there was crack corn which is multicolored popcorn and there was rice krispies i didn't want no fucking crack corn and i didn't want cake pops i just wanted the rice krispies i told her i just wanted rice krispies i'm confused and then she tells me to tell cake pop am i organizing the shower or you like <laughs> i told you from before i just wanted rice krispies what do i need to message her for like seriously the price got dropped from 102 to 45 dollars for the rice krispies by themselves i ended up actually keeping the cake pops and just getting rid of the popcorn total i had to pay 84 dollars for some damn rice krispies and cake pop okay 10 27 on the same day you were supposed to go to uh my mom's friend's house at 5 p.m keep in mind they live two minutes away from each other Okay, so there's literally no excuse. Two minutes you could walk from Julia's house to my mom's friend's house. And so, of course, Julia pretends she's sleeping. The other person in the chat messages and 
is trying to act like she didn't know that her her mother was supposed to go to my mom's friend's house and then I was like yeah she set an alarm and then she's like she's sleeping beside me right now and then I was like to look at the basement she's like oh and I was like and everything else actually she's like mm. you guys don't know how mad I was you guys don't know how fucking bad I was when I was having this conversation because oh my god anyway so then November 15th rolls around it's 11 24 a.m. she apologizes for yesterday because she didn't go see the place talking about her employees had her car you live two minutes from his house you're telling me you're, you're morbidly obese you cannot walk across the street to go see the space like there was no excuse what the fuck do you mean your employees had your car what does that have to do with anything like you guys are neighbors <laughs> um and talking about the employee came back late and then the kids had tutoring give me excuses i don't give a fuck don't tell me you have this on my shower and then you're not doing what you're supposed to do but you are, you're messaging me, asking me for money and telling me I have to pay for this, that, and the motherfucking third. So then she says she's going to go and see the place today. This is three days before my shower, you guys. Keep in mind, that three-way call that we had where the girl was supposed to ship the items the very next day and I was supposed to have received them. Or they were actually supposed to get shipped to Toronto, not to Ottawa. She sends a picture of an example of one of the props. And she's like, my girl is a G, sneak peek. Three days before my shower getting a sneak peek? You mean tell me you didn't see them before? <laughs> like, what? She's like, love it. Please e-transfer me $100 so I can pay her. And then I was like, at nail salon message soon. She's like, okay. Because I know how she operates, I was like, let me just get to PayPal. I'll pay her my damn self. Because also, I wasn't trying to take money out of my bank account. I was just trying to use the money that was in my PayPal account. So I was like, what's her PayPal? I'll just pay her directly from there. And I was like, she needs to courier that today. Because it was three days before my shower. So then she told me, I told her to send it to me so I can go print them this evening. She will send the file to Staples and I will pay... I will pay, as in she, she said, I will pay the printing and laminating so you can keep them as keepsakes. So you pay the invoice and then email me for the print and laminate. Email sent. Didn't you just say you will pay? So why are you telling me to email you some money? Like, what are you paying for? You have all these things for free. You, you got all these other things for free. So what exactly are you paying for in terms of this Miss I Have Dibs on your shower? What exactly did you put money towards? I'm confused why I had to pay for every damn thing. Anyway, she's like, email sent, invoice, let me know when you pay so I can ask her to send them over now. Thank you. And OMG, those nails are everything, blah, blah, blah. Why did you do that? I told you to tell her to just send them. We don't have time for the staples business, man. If you heard that voice note, it said, why did you do that? I told you to tell her to send them. We don't have time for that staple business right now, man. <laughs> Cause we really didn't like it's crunch time she needed to ship them and get ne and get it to us next day and it was early enough in the day that we would get it next day okay she's like i don't want to chance them being late they were already late because the, 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 the prop should have been here from time g like <laughs> they should have been here from time i don't understand yeah i'll message you when i go to staples i was like okay so that was at 2 45 p.m i did not receive another message until 7 44 p.m just left your mom's friend's house a lot of work to do there dot 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 she sends me all these pictures of his basement basically it looked our damn mess my shower is in two days basically because this is seven o'clock at night or almost eight o'clock at night the day is done like uh, he works early mornings she couldn't be over there doing anything she sent me all these pictures of the upstairs and downstairs in his house and she's like i know y'all think i'm a magician but i'm going i'm gonna need a lot more to accommodate this oh i'm sorry didn't i tell you to go from the very beginning didn't i tell you to go peek peek at the space look at the space and see because my whole thing was if she, if she had gone when I had told her to go and she looked at it and was like booge I don't think we can use this space I would have went and got a haul or something because she didn't want to ask her best friend if I can use her house for the party the other person in the chat is fucking pissing me off she's like the basement's not even finished oh lord do it on the main floor Unfin unfinished basements are ghetto and I was like I told you to go from time 
She's like, doesn't change the fact that it's ghetto, sis. LMAO, you deserve better. Use main level. Bitch, nobody's talking to you. <laughs> I was so irritated, you guys. I'm like, listen, man, when you're pregnant, <laughs> people like to try you way too much. So then I was like, well, we would have known early enough to make alternate plans. And then she's like, you've never seen it before? And I'm like, I, I'm like, I asked for Julia's best friend's house and no one wanted to ask her. And no, I've never seen the basement. My mom just mentioned it the other day. And then she's like, you should have asked him. It's not finished. And she's like, and Julia's best friend, you don't talk to her. That's so ox. And I was like, e I was like... I would have paid her I know how she is she was trying to say that I would have looked like a user like bitch no <laughs> I'm paying for everything else why wouldn't I pay for the space like stop she's like you should have asked her and told her and seen um none of y'all really talk to her like that I was unaware and if that she had said that in the in the beginning because she never responded when I said I want to use that space the other person in the chat responded originally and so if she had said we not really rocking like that right now I would have been like oh okay I understand moving the fuck on but nobody wanted to say anything anyway I was like no I'm not planning the shower my only intent was to show up I didn't want a shower to begin with and it's basically in two days she's like just ask him to use the main level like at Thanksgiving I was like everyone keeps calling me and asking me for details and I don't know what to tell them like my sister because she said to pick a host I picked a host and she asked for my, the hostess contact which is my sister oh my god she asked for my sister's contact and gave it to her she was lacking communication with her and it was just a whole hot fucking mess so yeah I was saying that people are asking me and I don't know what to tell them she's like no need to be stressed but like I thought the basement was at least finished like why are you still talking about the basement <laughs> Why are you talking at all? Like, you were not the one that said you had dibs on the shower. You have nothing to do with the shower. You didn't make no damn unicorn bags. You didn't do not a fucking thing. So just keep your... The conversations between A and B, baby. See your way out. Like, anyway. And I was like, we are using the main level. Because she didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. And she's like, okay, perfect. I was like, the basement was an add-on because there are so many guests. And she's like, ah, they'll live without it. I was like, it's on every floor. Like, you guys. Anyway. She's like, we'll cram together, use main level as a main floor, and then everything else is extra. And I was like, it is. Like, that was the, the whole thing to begin with. <laughs> you guys, I was so mad. She's like, okay, amazing. Julia finally chimes in. She's reading this whole thing while it's going down, and then she tries to act clueless as she is talking about, what is happening? And I was like, that's how I pictured it, at least. The basement is for the DJ and people who want to go down there. I won't be down there. Julia messages me. She's like, honestly, Bo, I've been putting in a lot of hours for your shower, in addition to the kids and a demanding work schedule. Why are you telling me about a demanding work schedule and your children, your children? Like... I didn't I didn't ask I don't care okay don't take something on when you know you can't handle it like you claim the damn shower <laughs> like wait she's like dead tired most days but I was committed and excited that no matter how I tried I spent my evenings gathering the stuff you needed for your shower not to mention I injured my back and literally spent three weeks in bed so you're telling me the three weeks that you had to throw the shower together, you spent it in bed. And so now you're trying to tell me that you had one week to put the shower together when you had about a month or two? Really? Excuses? Is this, is this what we're doing? <laughs> My best friend said that she's not entertaining for a while at her house because of the cleanup and aftermath. More excuses. The purpose of me going to your mom's friend's house and taking the photos like I do with all my clients so the place is at the point where I can go in and decorate. I was updating you with photos so you understand what needs to be cleaned up and organized. That's none of my business because guess what? I told you to go from jump and you decided you didn't need to. You had no idea what was going on in that man's house. He could have been a hoarder for all you knew. Like. I've been to his house many times before and I had the plan for the look. I took photos and now you have them and can decide if you want to stick with the original plan of first floor or add the basement, which either way was only brought to my attention two days ago. You guys will be down tomorrow and can start the cleanup 
and I'll do what I planned on Friday. If you want the basement included, it's a simple chat. No need for the finger pointing or blaming. I can ask your sister if she can come help clean at your mom's friend's house. Other than that, all she needs to do is the games and those are really self-explanatory. Okay. Keep in mind that same conversation, the same day we had three of the conversation, before we added the other person to the conversation, um, I was asking her about what prizes are going into the gift bags because we're not doing the gift game anymore and this was the probably third time I said this to her so I'm like okay we're not doing that anymore she, she told me verbatim don't worry about what's going in the bags I got it covered I got it covered and I'm like I need to know what's going in the bags because one I'm not gonna be embarrassed two I'm giving away expensive prizes so I can't have other prizes that are not decent in those bags I need to know what's going in them but she just kept telling me not to worry and in her mind we were still doing the gift game because she doesn't fucking listen and I told her we're not doing the gift game anymore and we were gonna be doing raffles all night so we had like a ra we had multiple raffle tickets we had a raffle for just the diapers so you got a colored raffle ticket for that and then we had another raffle for the stuff on the table everybody that showed up at the shower got a raffle ticket for the stuff on the table but you only got a red raffle ticket if you were getting um a pro if you brought diapers and needed to enter in the draw for the nintendo so i told her we won't be in the building until 2 a.m so no first of all i'm eight months pregnant i'm not going to be showing up to clean and move heavy stuff out of the way like what are you talking about <laughs> like it's not happening my only job was should have been to show up and be cute like really so no i'm not doing any pre-party cleaning up that should have been done already not one day before my shower and i'm not supposed to be doing it we weren't gonna get there to 2 a.m anyway she, i don't know why she was under the impression that i was gonna be there and able to clean any damn thing we didn't get there till about three maybe four so i was like i have stuff to do on friday i'm not going to be around to be preparing the house or anything like that so yeah call my sister and ask her if she's available this is why i wanted things to be simple but you have your way and i wanted you to have your creative freedom okay your creative freedom um but at the same time it's days away and i don't know what's going on with anything everything is cutting it really close i know you're busy and you take on too much at once but i would rather you not do it if it was going to be too overwhelming i asked you a while ago to go to to my mom's friend's house because i knew he had shit all over the damn place minus the basement i don't know anything about that I don't want Saturday to come and be unorganized or a mess. I could have rented a hall if you looked at this at his place earlier and told me what you think. As for your best friend, that wasn't communicated. I asked for her space and you didn't say anything about it. The only thing that was said was you should ask her and it was the other person in the chat that said that. None of this is even relevant. I just need to know that come Saturday there won't be any hiccups or issues. You didn't even call or message me about the stuff from Staples like I'm lost in the sauce. If we need to scale down then let's do that but we have to communicate. I don't want you to feel like I don't appreciate it because I do but I'm in the dark and I need details slash reassurance that I'm not going to rip my hair out. That's it. And so she comes back to me and she says, you are speaking out two sides of your mouth. You gave me the shower to do saying you just want to show up. I did not give her any motherfucking thing. She fucking claimed it. She said, I have dibs. That's not me giving it to you, baby. That's you saying you are taking it on. Okay, I didn't I didn't come to you and like, oh my god, I'm having a baby. I need to have a baby shower. Can you please plan it for me, please? Bitch, I told you I didn't want to fucking have one. What are you talking about? I gave it to you to do. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> so then she said, and then you are saying I'm keeping you in the dark. If you scroll up and look at the chat, you will see I've kept you very informed. What I saw when I scrolled up was that I was talking to my damn self. Okay, I wasn't getting answers. I still don't know what the fuck. At this point, I still don't know what the fuck was going on with the whole Staples printing out thing, whether the girl shipped it or not, bitch, I did not know. She's like, I'm heading home now from gathering more stuff. I'm not going to get into this. I know what I was doing was from the heart, and that's all that matters. Oh, from the heart, but your business was on the invites bitch where they do that at because it's not here oh if you wanted to get upset because i told you um 
your mom's friend's place needed to be tidied up. It's a simple fix. Enjoy your night. The point was never to stress you. So then the other person in the chat comes in and she says, okay, so there's a couple wrongs in here. But to be honest, Bouge, when someone is doing something nice for you, I'm sorry, something nice? What do you think this is? Something nice? Something nice? Who paid for the shit? Like, what are you talking about something nice? Something nice, your business would not be attached to the invite. Something nice, you would be coming up out of pocket, okay? Not using things that you had laying around your fucking house. Like, girl, you shouldn't treat them this way. Just saying, you're being quite bossy and conflicting in what you're saying. You guys both need to come together and apologize. Julia takes care of you and that's all she was trying to do. I said, yeah, I wanted to just show up, but I was given tasks like making unicorn bags, coming up out of pocket for unicorn bags, so I'm involved. I have to pay for the stuff I'm asking about, so yeah, I want to know where my money is going. You wanted to do my shower, you told me to have one. I said, okay, and you got the planning. Don't try to put no shit on me, because that's not how this shit went, period. She's like, all right, sorry, bouge, dot, 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 you're right. And I was like, this isn't about right or wrong, and it's not about the cleaning. So then the other person in the chat's like, LOL, I'm canceling this group chat. I was like, hey. And then Julia's like, what's it about? I thought it was about the cleaning. Never knew there was another problem. So then at this point, I'm fed up. I'm like, nothing. I don't care. Just do whatever you want. I honestly don't want to know anything else about it. The other person in the chat sends this emoji and the streamer emoji, like celebration. That was all happening two days before my shower. Bad energy, period. So this was the first time I shed some tears about this party, okay? Because I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, why is this happening two days before my shower? Like, why are they sabotaging? Why, why is this happening two days before my shower? This is going on. I'm not feeling good about the shower. And I was telling my mom, I will literally take all those emails, email everybody and say, this is bougie. The party is canceled. Don't be showing up. Go return your gifts. Like, I was this motherfucking close to canceling the shower i was so fed up and that was listen i was gonna cancel the shower the day of the shower <laughs> what do you know about that what do you know about that before people show up, i was ready to send out emails calls texts whatever i needed to do to let people know do not fucking show up because i'm gonna slap the shit out of somebody like i was legit pissed so of course we did not speak again until the day of the shower so bad energy I didn't want it to be awkward, so early that morning, I said, morning, going to the store to get the raffle tickets. We have some here, but I need another color. Is there anything else I need to get while I'm on the road? And then I asked the other person in the chat to pick up the cake pops around 11.15, and I also told her I need a curling wand. Please and thanks. That was at 8.42. I didn't get a message back till about an hour later at 9.39, and it was from Julia. She said, morning, call... Um, your uncle please foods ready he wants to speak to you though the food was not supposed to be ready until like noon okay because my shower was until like 2 so what am I doing picking up food at 9 something a.m. and it was supposed to be delivered it was not supposed to get picked up like inconvenience she tells me that the other person got home at 7 30 in the morning and that she'll wake her up closer to 1 I was like okay so the shower happens shower was great Everybody's beautiful, but before, like, that morning, like, before I started getting ready, there was a whole bunch of empty swag bags on the table. And me and my mom are looking in the bags, and we're like, what, what is going on here? And so we're looking in the bags, and we're like, this is literally junk she had laying around her house. She must think we are still doing the damn gift game. Like, this is a joke. So we call her, and we're like, why are there empty bags here? First of all, this is how I know she just threw the shit together. I had brought pajama pants that somebody left at my house in Ottawa, but I was bringing them back to Toronto for them and they were in a box with some of the stuff that I, I would brought to the party. Why did those pajama pants end up in one of the swag bags? Because she was just putting any old thing that she could find. Literally, she could pick a wedgie and put the stank from her booty in the damn swag bag. She would have, like, literally did not care about what was going in the bag. So me and my mom call her. My mom was pissed, and her and my mom are in conflict chat. And so she's like, what the frig is going on? Like, the shower is in two hours. Why 
are there empty bags on this table still? Why wasn't all of this taken care of last night when you guys were here setting up and stuff? Like, what the fuck? So my mom's freaking livid. Apart from being livid because the day before when they were setting up the house, it was evident that she had waited until this very last week to throw this shower together because she had put up some streamer things that were ghetto as hell at the food table and when my mom saw it she's like take that the f down i was downstairs sleeping because i had a headache from my from my weave so my mom was like take that down right now luckily it was the same weekend that fabricland was having their 50 percent off sale so my mom hightailed it to fabricland and bought pink, pretty pink stuff and they made the wall entirely beautiful if my mom was not there that wall would not have come together because it looked ghetto a hot ghetto mess i was so mad when i saw the pictures my mom took a picture so she could show me what the hell was going on while i was sleeping and i was not impressed i was like thank god my mom was here thank god anyway there's empty bags there's bags of stuff that is in there that shouldn't be in there and i'm like this is so disgusting like this is bare ghetto like i cannot my mom tells me bouge don't worry about anything just go hop in the shower and start getting your makeup on and stuff because we don't have time for this i'll deal with all of it blah 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 so julia has an attitude on the phone when we call her like we did something wrong to her bitch no there's empty swag bags on the table you told me repeatedly don't worry about what's going in them not to mention you ignored the fact that i said we're not doing the gift game anymore so there can't be dub prizes in the gift in the gift game bags because so in the with the gift game you can either have a really good prize or a really shitty prize like like a pencil could be in one bag meanwhile somebody else gets a box of chocolate and then you don't know what's in your bag so you trade it with somebody or you take their gift thinking they have a better gift than you because their wrapping paper might be better but you literally just traded your pencil when you could have had a box of fur or rache. You know, that's what the gift game is. We weren't supposed to have prizes like that because it was no longer the gift game. Anyway, I go and I get ready. Fast forward, the cake shows up. So as, when the cake showed up, I was like, oh, wow. Like, wow, they actually spent money and they got me a cake. This is so nice. Like, I'm thinking this is so nice. No. Cake was gifted. They didn't tell me, so I didn't know who the fuck to thank. The person that made the cake had to message me and tell me that she sent the cake as a gift and she's sorry she couldn't make it to the shower. Uh, fast forward, Julia was supposed to be at the shower. Julia was having a fit. She decided she didn't want to show up to the shower. And so I'm like, what the fuck? I messaged with good energy that morning so that there would be no bad blood, no awkwardness, nothing, period. I wanted it to be a smooth day. And so I was shocked when my mom told me she wasn't coming. My mom got on the phone with her and she said, I don't care, I don't care what you're doing, you need to get your ass over here now. <laughs> and so she ended up showing up mad late, but like she I didn't even think she had makeup on. Like she didn't even care. Like she just came willy-nilly and was like bitter the whole entire evening. And so the party's going on, we're doing raffles and all this. It gets time to raffle off the Nintendo. And for whatever reason, Julia thought that she should participate in the raffle. The person that put put the shower together participated in the diaper raffle. Why? Why do you have a ticket? I was very confused as to why she had a ticket. Fast forward, my sister's doing the raffle. She calls out a number. It ends up being Julia's fucking number for the Nintendo. Like, that was for the guests, not for the, the person that put the shower together and invited everybody. Do you know how bad that looks? <laughs> so I'm pissed. I'm standing in the kitchen. I'm talking to Julia, and she's like, Who do you want me to? She was basically asking me if I, she wants me to donate her ticket back into the raffle so that we could pull again. Obviously, my answer is going to be yes. Before I could even say yes, Okay, before I can, not even yes, before I can even say yes, her freaking daughter that's like 12, I don't know how old she is, 14, bitch, I don't know how old she is. Either way, her daughter came and she's like, oh my gosh, boo, look at everything she did for the shower. Basically, because she's a kid, so she wanted the Nintendo. Her and her little brother wanted the Nintendo. And I was like, first of all, I paid for everything and I stormed the fuck out of the kitchen because I was that fucking pissed that... You would even think to enter into the raffle. Why are you going to win the prize? And then your little ass daughter is having conversation with me when she should not be having conversation. Yo, I was so mad. I was going to punch her in the face. That's why I had to leave the kitchen. Because at this point, I was like, you know what? I didn't even fucking care. Because after all that shit, you didn't, all, that, all that shit you were talking in them text messages and shit, 
And all the attitude you have and the fact that you weren't even going to show up and then you show up and then you're going to fucking win. Like, what? I was so pissed. I was so mad. So I just stormed out the kitchen. Everybody saw my face. I was pissed. After I left, I just didn't even give a fuck. They continued to do the raffles or whatever. We were giving out bottles, champagne. Like, the, the raffle was dope. For the rest of the night, they were guarding that little Nintendo like nobody's fucking business. I want to literally take it up and bring it back the fuck home. Like, why? <sighs> Anywhere you saw the little children, you saw this gold wrapped box and that was the Nintendo. And every time I saw it, I just got more and more angry. Anyway, because I didn't want to seem like a bitter, ungrateful bitch, I went and into... I went into the fridge and I got this big ass bottle of Bel Air that I had purchased specifically for Julia and I gave it to her and I thanked her and I was just like I love you blah 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 she's like I love you too honey blah 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 like whatever gave me a hug I gave her a hug and I'm thinking everything is squared off we are Gucci you know, Bella are not cheap, okay, bitch? I gave her champagne because I know she likes to fucking drink. So I gave her that, and that was my gift to her to say thank you. And I thought it was all good and dandy. A bitch is on her way home back to Ottawa the next day, very next day. At the time I was with wind, and so sometimes I would have service, and sometimes it would cut out because we're on the highway, and, like, the towers are just no good. Okay, but now I'm a virgin, so... Virgin Mobile, okay, so I have service all the time. She messages me at 3.30, so at this point I was almost back to Ottawa, and I guess some service had cut in on the highway, so she messages me, she's like, hi, Bouge, if you have already left, hope you have a safe drive back. One, she knew I already left because I had posted something on Instagram basically saying, I'm on my way back home now, blah, 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 okay? And she was tagged in it because I was basically shouting her out for the shower even though the bitch didn't deserve it. So she sends me a screenshot of a conversation between her and her employee. She tells me that her assistant went to place and pick up the order from Staples. What? <laughs> She put it on her credit card. Can you please e-transfer the funds back? She gives me the girl's email. I do not respond. And this is why I didn't respond. One, the props. I specifically told you what I would be paying for and what I would not be paying for. And I told you that I was only agreeing to pay for the shipping, which was $100, to get the shit to Canada from Atlanta. That's what I was paying for, what I had originally agreed to when I told you specifically, do not send the shit to Staples. Don't do it. Get the girl to ship it because we don't need any more fucking problems. But you didn't listen, you want to do your own thing, okay, so you pay for it. You, you pay for it because the shower is done, okay? The shower ended yesterday. Anything that I was supposed to pay for for the shower got paid for already. And when she said that she was going to go that same day to, to Staples to do it, obviously she never did it that day because she never messaged me back. And it ended up being more expensive printing it at damn Staples. And I had already sent the other girl PayPal money. I had already sent her money PayPal to pay for the stuff. Like what? She messages me again the next day. And she says, Bougie, did you get a chance to send the e-transfer checking as I didn't get a response? Oh, so, so now you didn't get a response like I wasn't getting responses? Oh, now you see how it feels. So I sent a voice note. And so I tell her, one, no, because it's costing more than what it would have been if we had just got the girl to ship it to begin with. Plus, it wasn't coming out of my bank account. So I made it clear to her that I am not paying the girl. And then she's like, actually, it costs less because it's in Canadian dollars and it was guaranteed to be here on time. You think uh, <laughs> you think on time is a day before my shower? Anything could have motherfucking happened that Steve was like, no, no. I told you I was going to pay for the girl to ship it. And that was the bottom line because Stone Cold says so. So I sent her another voice note because she's trying to tell me it would, it would have been less money and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, no. I sent her another voice note and another voice note. So then she tries to tell me, pay the $100 and I'll, um, I'll do the rest. 
it shouldn't matter how it got done. The point is it got done and you and your guests were able to enjoy it. Not to mention if you were to even fork out the money it cost for all that was there and done for you to in ensure your gr ungrateful and unappreciative self had an amazing shower. So I saved you hundreds of dollars. Listen, listen, Linda. <laughs> I forked out every fucking dollar. The stuff that I did not pay for was motherfucking free because bitches know fucking crutch gals. And that's where the stuff came from. So don't talk about what money has to be forked out, okay? That's what we're, that's what we're not going to do, okay? That's what we're not going to do. And the fact that she called me ungrateful and unappreciative, bitch, you weren't saying that when I was giving your alcoholic ass some damn Belvedere or some fucking um, Bel Air. You were saying that then it was, oh, I love you, I love you. She didn't pay for anything. She did not come up out of pocket for anything that she claimed she did for the shower. My mom paid for that stuff, that the, the, the backdrop to save the day. The other stuff was free 99, okay? Free, not one red cent came out of her pocket. The cake was gifted. You didn't put any money into the shower. I put all the money into the shower. You didn't offer to pay for anything. Not a damn thing. You waited till the last minute, dropped the fucking ball, tried to put it together in one week, got caught. Like, what? You don't understand, me and my mom were flipping shit. Like, we were so freaking pissed. I was willing to pay for shipping, not staples, and you disregarded that and did what you wanted to instead. You didn't listen to anything I was saying when I was the one footing the bill. The same with me specifically saying no popcorn or cake pops and there was popcorn and cake pops on the invoice. I said we're not doing the gift game and you ignored that as well which turned the swag bags into a hot mess. Let me tell you, Shooter's mom was pissed when she opened her, her swag bag because she got a fucking can opener. Bitch, a can opener? What's she gonna do with that? A can opener? You think she's already having at home? Like, a can opener. There was so much bullshit in the bags. You could tell it was just stuff that was laying around her fucking crib. Like, little notepads and fucking pens. Like, ghetto. Hot ghetto mess. But you calling this the bougie shower? Bitch, no, I was embarrassed. Anyway, I asked you so many times what was going in the bags and you kept beating around the bush and telling me not to worry. So many people asked me, what the fuck is this? Like really? A push closet light? You know those little closet lights that you stick on the side of the wall and you push the battery operated to show your clothes when it's dark in your closet? That was in a bag. That is like literally at the dollar store. Like are you kidding me? Meanwhile, other people are getting $70 vibrators. Like bitch, no. <laughs> and bottles of alcohol. Like. No. On Friday night, you verbatim said you only had one week to put the shower together, which was false. She said that out of her mouth. One week. She only had one week. Bitch, what? You had a whole fucking month. Like, <laughs> I can't. Which was completely false. If you would like to pay the girl, throw the Nintendo up on Kijiji. It's worth more than what I purchased it for now. Don't tell someone you're doing their shower and then randomly start messaging them for money. You called dibs and then wanted me to pay for everything under the sun when you literally had to convince me to have a shower to begin with. And God bless Danielle for gifting me that cake, which up until last night, I thought you paid for. Not to mention the food wall was completely unacceptable. Unacceptable! before my mom went to fabric land it looked like you really only had a week to put it together but the invite went out a long time ago just as we insisted you go to my mom's friend's house but you refused until three days before the shower on top of that I specifically said I wanted all of my uncles there and when I spoke to Sly on Friday he had no idea about my shower that's the only reason Lil Sly showed up ungrateful my ass if you had paid for stuff 
and foot the bill then call me ungrateful but until then you can run up all you did was make up excuses and try to drop the ball a couple days before the party you told me to make the bags and I got on it right away it took days and I and it cut into my work schedule but I got it done meanwhile you're over there complaining about your back and the kids and this and that I'm eight months pregnant with a, every fucking pain imaginable there's a reason there's a disconnect with you and everyone else Julia I was talking about my family and I learned that during this process you're not a straight shooter which is an issue and it's sad that all this is happening because we've always been very close and I had and had I not agreed to this shower we wouldn't even be having this problem so yes I drags her for Phil and she's like wow thank you for letting it all out I know it probably killed you to hold it in I was like no it didn't actually she's like much love Sabrina I was like you're welcome be blessed come to find out she did the exact same thing to my sister. My sister had a birthday party a long time ago. My sister had a birthday party. She said she was going to plan this birthday party, throw it together and everything like that. And she did. But she didn't pay for anything. She left before the bill came. And then my sister ended up stuck with a bill for her own birthday party. <laughs> like, what? Like, who does that? So my sister was telling me her story about what happened or whatever. And I was like, wow, like, lesson fucking learned. If I have another shower, bitch, and I end up, I, I'm going to end up planning it my damn self. And I will come up out of box, and it will be just like how I want it to be. And nobody's going to change the theme from pink and gold to motherfucking childish ass to unicorn. Nobody's going to be doing anything. Nobody's going to tell me what I can and cannot have and do things that they're not supposed to do when I told them to do the opposite. Like, girl, hunty. I was stressed the F out when it came to my shower. Like, I was stressed out and I was literally crying the day of my shower, five seconds away from canceling it, but my mom told me to just go have a shower and put my makeup on. Like, dead ass. It was crazy. And so I was really hurt because this was somebody I was mad close with and all because we had this baby shower that I didn't want to have. My relationship with that person got ruined, but I got to see that person's true colors and that's really all that matters like I guess it was just a waiting to happen because huh, yeah we can't get into no family drama on YouTube okay because <laughs> there's a lot I should and could be saying but we're gonna leave that off of YouTube um I was really truly under the impression that she was taking care of the shower she was putting the bill for the shower she was gonna make it you know nice and she basically just kept messaging me asking me for money and because I know how she is with her work clients I know that she is very sneaky and that's why I was adamant with like give me her PayPal give me this person PayPal because she's the type of person that will tell you um okay I need this amount of money but it's really way less like the Kashi 6 9s people did to him <laughs> like literally I would but I wasn't sure that she would do that to me because of how close we were but I still didn't trust her like I say she would tell you okay say something is six hundred dollars she'll add a couple zeros onto that maybe <laughs> and skim off the top or like you know what I mean or she'll add like a couple hundred onto that and skim off the top it's six hundred she'll tell you it's a thousand but it was really only four hundred so she just pocketed six hundred dollars so I didn't trust her with my money period and I didn't like that she was telling me okay this is gonna cost this this and that but I wasn't communicating with those people she was communicating with the people so uh, either way I'm not accepting that you're gonna tell me you're doing my shower and then I have to pay for everything doesn't make any sense so anyway that is not a relationship that can ever be reconciled because Julia went and did some foul ass shit to my mother and told lies upon lies upon listen Linda okay got, got me <laughs> got all the fuckers out here looking crazy like no so that's dead dead in the water chat <laughs> And yeah, that's basically it. I love you all so much and I will definitely see you in the next one.